Hi guys, RK here. So I already finally finished for the Victory Messenger floor 110. Alright, so I'm using a totally a different um, team build. Okay, so uh, the only call, the only two call you need are Oli and Uday. Uday is here to reset Oli's um, passive and Oli's S3, and Uday can provide AP buff. Then the other three you need here is to try to make the boss uh, um, blockage as fast as possible while dealing damage. So I'm using Ahmed, Mateo, and Elaine. Elaine is R0, 0 skill up. Mateo is R0, 0 skill up. Only my Ahmed is skill up and uh, high result. Okay, so I'll... Because uh, this, this video I recorded on my phone because I, I managed to finish this on the phone, not on my uh, computer. So I'll play the video first. You can take a look, roughly take a look, uh, how it works, and then I'll um, di explain more deeply at the back. All right. So the, vi the the music will be a bit noisy because of the recorder. So I'm checking Ollie's passive, but I still give Ollie the shield and reset Ollie's S3. Because that's where the damage come from. So take a look when when I use all the damage. So now attack up buff, uh, attack buff, Oli. Then Oli S3. Look at it. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. From what percent? Sixty nine percent to. 58% is a 10% damage but that 10% damage is when the boss is on blockage okay so now I'm I will reset Oli again reset Oli's S3 with absorb so this absorb shield will uh, protect Oli won't die at all and the only unit that will die is either for one or four of them then if they die Oli is going to trigger the passive and going to cast his S3 again so technically uh, it's a free skill. So here is just like um, doing the stack, dealing um, damage while waiting for Oli. So I, I can use Oli actually again. Look at the damage. Okay, then I'm gonna reset Oli actually again. Here is going to um, doing stack back. Try to lock the boss. Okay, so Elaine died. So Oli triggered his S3. You look at the damage is without without the blockage. So the boss is not unlocked. But look at the damage deal. This is so high. We got. Okay, we'll explain that later. Okay, so I'm trying to lock the boss again, so I can deal more damage. Alright, the boss is locked, so I'm going to cast all the Ashri again. Boom! 11%. So, this is basically it. So, you just uh, keep rotating uh, Uday's uh, reset on Oli, then you just keep spamming S3. And then, if your unit died, Oli is going to cast, cast the uh, passive to revive. Uh, to cast cast the passive to s make them survive and then you go you're gonna um, S3 them again then Uday uh, shield pr uh, is gonna make sure Oli won't die at all okay so that's how you kill it so in the end so let's see here then cast Oli S3 again without without on the lock debuff left 1% then I just finish it right maybe you notice that uh, that's only left like 3 turn right uh, because their relic is their set is not really optimized, so you can actually optimize them like uh, maybe not using Ahmed or maybe using other unit. I, I don't know. You can try it out. But the main core unit are Uday and Oli, right? So here we'll, I'll be show. If you look at the damage here, this is the damage stats. The main defense is Oli. Okay, then uh, this is uh, the reason why is Oli's S3 
deal uh, 200% that attack and a certain percentage of the enemy max HP. But we have no idea like how many certain percentage is the is the range. So we, I'm just going to use it. And then even though when uh, you trigger the passive, the passive will trigger S3 and you're going to cast again. Then let's take a look at Uday. Uday's S2 is going to give the ally absorb and shield for 3 turns. And then the shield strength is 100% of the max HP. So technically my Oli won't die. And then reset all their ability cooldown. So all these passive and S3 will get reset so I can cast it again. So my Ahmed is using this set. Technic uh, this set is my from my previous team build. So actually you can use Ahmed on uh, with other set with more DPS. And then this is Oli set. It's going full DPS. And then here is going with um, attack bonus. So it's very slow, but full attack, high crit rate, high crit damage. Then for Matteo, it's going for uh, high high crit damage. And then, uh, no, I mean like DPS set. And then the speed is slow because uh, I want to save the turn. And I make them not very tanky so they can die. <laughs> the only can save them and trigger the, the passive. Then this is Elaine is going with Ocean Wave. Uh, Ocean Wave. The reason going to for Ocean Wave is to trigger the the blockage easier to lock the boss. And then Uday is going with Fast Ocean Wave set to keep rotating her S two and S three to keep resetting uh Oli. So this is basically the team idea. How you're gonna beat uh Winter Messenger one hundred and ten floor. All right. So. Hope this video can actually help you guys who is um, s having prob difficulties with the Wintery Messenger 110 floor. The, m the main member you need is Oli and Uday, that's all. Alright, thanks for watching the video, hope it helps you out.